Best greetings from Kyiv, the capital of Ukraine. My name is Viktor Fursov and today May 11, 2019. And today I'm very pleased to show you something special and unusual. These unusual cakes, these unusual biscuits and they were damaged so highly and something infested them. Do you want to know who is that? So follow this video. If you have never seen such kind of uh, biscuits, you are very lucky, because they are really damaged and they are really infested. Probably you already noticed somebody was crawling on these biscuits, and if I touch them, they are really damaged. Yes, and this tiny, tiny beetle just crawling down, and this is a biscuit beetle. Biscuit beetle have been developing inside these biscuits, and larvae, they were eating all these biscuits, and these are imaging holes. Adults of these beetles, they just hatched out of these holes. And how they look like, and how to fight against of them, because they are spreading like a plug around your kitchen. They can damage all food all around, and how to fight with them. So follow this video, and I will show you them as well, because they're here, they're inside this petri dish. Yes, they're here. And I show them in a close distance, so you can recognize them, who they are. Because they're very small, sometimes very difficult to recognize, because they're flying very well, and also they're running very well, so crowding quickly. It's, they can easily escape. And also, if they, you touch them, they fall down, because this is their behavior of thanatosis. They fell down to escape of any damage or maybe predator. So that's why they fall down on the floor, and you will not see them again, and they fly very quickly. And here in this petri dish, some of them, they are dead, some of them alive, because they were sitting here for a few days, so they easily died, <coughs> despite the adults, these beetles, they do not eat, <coughs> they do not feed on any food, because the most important pests are larvae of these beetles. And what do they do? Well, <coughs> adults, they are searching for different food in your kitchen, because they are spread all around the world, they are globally distributed, and they rolled and they're searching for food in your kitchen and this is a very commonest and most economically important pest which attacked stored products. And the diet of this beetle includes different products like cereals, bread, dry bread, cakes, dried beverage concentrates, dried fruits, dried vegetables, even herbs, animal foodstuffs, cocoa beans, spices, even chili peppers, and even dried various drugs. So they can easily eat different food, and they can be easily found in your kitchen because they are flying very well, and during infestation they can be easily noticed crawling on windows. Beetles also fly very quickly and they can be carried from one building or one house to another house on goods or clothes. As I said, adults of beetles they do not feed, but also they can chew and they can eat their way through packages just to lay eggs inside food resource. So that's why they can infest even contained and closed products. The development of beetles can be different, it depends from moisture and temperature, and during temperature of 17 Celsius degree, development of one larvae about 37 days, but during 28 Celsius degree it's only 8 days. So, in general during the year <coughs> The whole cycle allows 
to have from three or four or even more generations. So that's why these beetles can be found <coughs> enclosed in stored places during the whole year. But usually up to three or four generations. One female can lay eggs on food resource about 100 eggs either on food itself or in small crevices nearby. Larvae very tiny. These white larvae they have only 0.5 mm long and 0.12 mm wide. As a result they can squeeze easily through the narrowest cracks and penetrates the wrapping on food with relative ease. Before pupation, the larva is making special capsule, which is covered by driven mud. And so pupation will be inside capsule, and when hatched beetles is drilling special emergence hole, as I showed you on cakes. Sometimes the beetles and their larvae, to be precise, they can damage even some books in the libraries because they penetrate cardboards, wood, and books and books, as because they belong to furniture beetles family Anobiidae, so they can drill very easily different different materials. So they can cause structural and other damage, especially on this last larval stage, <coughs> because larva will make emergence whole and create a special capsule or protective chamber for pupation. And in this case, all these products will be highly damaged. How to fight with them? First of all, you need to trace the source of infestation <coughs> to check different places where you can keep food and isolate it and put your food in closed places. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes not. Even sometimes you need to find that these beetles can damage some dried flowers in your house or in your kitchen. So you know, this will be their food resource and they will spread all around, even from your dining room just slowly to the kitchen. So when you destroy your larval feeding material, then you need to clean the area carefully. In a case where it is possible, there are some possible treatment with insecticides as aerosol insecticide which containing diazonon or other insecticides. These are methods of fighting off these beetles and first of all try to avoid them putting different materials in closed places or put them to the freezer for preservation because the low temperature will kill all larvae in, in food source. Thank you for watching. I hope it was interesting and entertaining for you. And I'm quite sure that you have seen these beetles sometimes in your kitchen because they fly very well and they can be found on the window. And maybe I will show them in a big magnification a little bit later, with high magnification. But even on this size on your screen, they are easily recognizable. What about in other beetles? In your kitchen or in your house? Which are not useful pests. So I will tell about them in my next video. So please subscribe, write your comments and ask your questions. Thank you for watching. Best greetings from Kiev, Ukraine, from Victor Fursov, entomologist, beekeeper teacher. Bye bye! See you soon on my channel! 
and this was Victor Furso and Stegobium Panitseum Biscuit Beetle or Drugstore Beetle. Bye bye!